Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to take a look at uh, saving and loading uh, control points, uh, which is something that we, we want to do frequently when we're geo-registering, uh, say, a scanned paper map to uh, a known good uh, target uh, reference. Uh, what we have here in the left-hand window is we've got a, a scan of a uh, paper map. It's the uh, famous uh, Elliott map of the uh, Gettysburg ba Battlefield to which we've added oh, around almost 40 control points, 30-some control points. And here's the uh, target reference point that we're, um, target reference map that we're referencing this to, we've, where we've added corresponding control points for each of the ones that are here. And uh, we haven't saved any of these, so the first thing we're going we're gonna to save them. So here in the map source, we're going to go to the uh, register pane, and we're going to choose this uh, button for saved control points. Click Save Control Points. And it immediately creates uh, here in the table a new component called Control Points. Let's rename that. Rename related. Let's make that, uh, let's call that Source Control Points. There, click Rename. And uh, now let's uh, save these for the target control points. We'll have those saved as well. Back in the register pane, again, we click that same button. You can see that the source control points drawing that we saved is available now as for something to load. We're going to click Save Control Points. And it's again created a, a new file called a new, a new component called Control Points. Uh, we'll, we'll again right click that and choose Rename Related. And we'll choose, and we'll now call this Target control points. It automatically change the table name for us. Click rename. Great. Now we've saved these. So uh, from here on in, uh, we can uh, you know keep on saving from time to time and work with these control points. Uh, but uh, we're going to do something we're interested. We're going to show how to load the control points. We're going to show how to work with those loaded control points. I'm going to right click and drag here to uh, zoom in to the Elliott map, which we downloaded from the uh, Library of Congress. And as we zoom closer and closer, you can see here as we zoom way far in here that uh, there's a seam. And why is that? It's because the Elliott map is actually, uh, right there is the seam, is created of, is consists of two sheets of paper, the original sh sheets of paper that were uh, uh, pasted onto this, uh, what looks like a fabric backing, and they scanned that. But as you can see, the top sheet really needs to be, you know, brought down to uh, uh, a little bit to uh, match to this, uh, <clears throat> match to this, excuse me, lower sheet to el eliminate that seam. Now we've done that. You can do that in Manifold or you can do that in uh, Photoshop. And what I'll do, and what that is, that's this uh, image right here called Elliot NS, Elliot NS, NS for no seam. So let's drag and drop that into the map. And uh, as we zoom in close, let's, let's zoom back into that region that we were looking at. Uh, you can see, I'll double click Elliot NS off, and you can see that this is the Elliot map with uh, with the seam. And here's the uh, with the seam removed, where we took the upper part of it and we moved it down. I'll, I'll click that back and forth. So. Uh, that's super, but if we uh, take a look at what we did with the uh, control points, we've already uh, done a bunch of control points here, and uh, let's turn the back on here by clicking Edit Control Points. Uh, if we zoom into the uh, control points that are above the seam, all the ones that are below the seam, because the, the map below the seam uh, didn't move, so all these are in the correct location. But the control points that are above the seam are kind of all off. Like, look at this one right here. It, sh it should be down here on the corner, and it's actually it's actually up there. Why? Because it's in the correct position for uh, the Elliott map. Click at a control point so you can see it there. But it's not in the right position for the uh, the one, the no seam version. Oops, uh, not tracker. Let's edit control points. Great. And uh, let's take a look at, uh, you know, another one that's up here, for example, where, uh, where you can zoom in and we can see that control point is supposed to be right in the middle of that uh, uh, building, which is the McPherson, McPherson building, which we're going to use as a geo-registering geo control point because that, that's still visible on the uh, battlefield as it is today. So what we want to do here is, uh, uh, let's zoom out here a bit, we, what we want to do is we want to take all the control points that are above the seam and we want to move them down a little bit and to the right. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is uh, we're going to use the magic of uh, saving and loading control points. So let's uh, go here to the register pane and uh, uh, what I want to do is here in the project, I'm going to drag and drop the source control points drawing that we created earlier when we save control points. When you save control points, all you're doing is you're creating is you're creating a drawing. Let's style those so that they're bright green. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select all the points that are uh, with a control, shift and drag. I'm going to select all the control points which are above the seam. The seam is right there. So now I've selected all these control points. And uh, what am I going to do with those? I'm going to take all these control points and I'm going to move them down a hair. I'm going to move it down so this so that control point is right in the middle. And the way I'm going to do that is uh, with the transform pane. So with the focus on the source control points drawing layer for this map. 
and uh, the geometry field. I'm going to choose a uh, reshape, and in reshape, I'm going to ch choose shift, and I'm going to move those. Uh, I think I'm going to move them about three meters in the X position and about uh, minus uh, 18 meters in the Y position. Let's click Preview to see what that does. Yeah, that's about right. That looks pretty good, don't you think? Uh, so uh, let's click Transform. Oh, and we want to click here to Transform Selection Only. We only want, on, we only want to shift the, the uh, points in that drawing that are above the seam. So when I click Transform, all the ones that uh, are selected are going are gonna to move into position and, uh, and all the ones down here below that are below the seam that didn't need to move uh, won't move. Uh, and uh, let's uh, just uh, control shift alt to unclick all those. So we have control points and uh, now what we want to do is uh, for this uh, for this drawing for this map here in the registration pane I want to load uh, the uh, source from the source control points drawing. Here's the source control points drawing. That's the one that's the one where I've just adjusted the position of these of the upper ones for the register uh, pane, I want to load control points from the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, source control points drawing. Click s load source control points, and now I've loaded them again. The ones here in the target map have disappeared uh, because they're they're automatically attached to the ones that are here, and we've just loaded some uh, some new control points here. Let's get rid of this uh, layer there. We don't need it anymore. And uh, here what I want to do is uh, I'll turn this uh, back on, turn control points back on. And these are the control points that we've just loaded. Now, all of these have been, uh, uh, we've loaded from the uh, drawing where we moved the control points. So if we uh, zoom in here, you can see that one is right where it should be, right in the middle of the McPherson uh, building. And all the other ones, uh, which have been, which are above the seam, li seam, likewise have been shifted down and to the right, the necessary number of meters. So let's reload these guys from the uh, uh, that we've that we that we've previously saved before the target control points, and they're all going to match because the way control points match is they match up by using the names. So, for example, P1 goes to P1, P2 goes to P2. So when you load these, they automatically match in the uh, in the target frame. And uh, let's do one more thing because we're now going to ge georegister this map using, uh, let's say, uh, use the uh, thin plate spline. And uh, what I want to do just for fun is I want to turn on the task manager, and I want to turn on performance. And I want to turn on the GPU. We're using, as you can see, a Ryzen 9 core processor here. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to arrange this. Let's say I'm going to put it right up here someplace. So that uh, when I command a geo-registration of the, uh, oops, here, I want to command a geo-registration of the NS Elliott no seam uh, drawing. Uh, you'll see how uh, it lights up with uh, all those different cores. So I'm going to click register and then I'll turn on the, and then I'll move the, uh, uh, perf the uh, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The task manager uh, performance uh, uh, window back into position. Okay, so let's say ready, set, click register, and it's now starting to register records. And you can see, uh, Manifold is faithfully uh, launching a uh, 24 different uh, uh, processes. It, it goes so fast that you, you don't get to see much more than a single blip. And why did it go so fast? Because it's just on thin lines thin plate spline registration with uh, that many cores uh, simultaneously. Let's drag and drop the, drop the resulting geo-registered uh, drawing here into this map. And uh, you can see it's distorted and so forth. And uh, let's style that. I loaded this from a uh, format where uh, you know the, the style is backwards from the usual RGB. That's, uh, that's not Manifold's fault. That's the format. And uh, let's uh, change the layers here. Let's put the Elliott map up here and uh, let's make it a uh, 50% so uh, we can see how well it's uh, geo-registered and uh, we can take a look at uh, some of the places that we might be interested in for example the action down around uh, uh, big round top and little round top let's turn on a terrain layer and uh, you can see how well the uh, geo-registered map uh, aligns with uh, you know all these features of interest for example uh, uh, where there's some very fierce fighting here. This is big round top, and uh, here is a little round top. And every place where you see one of these little lines, that's a grave. That's a battlefield grave. So on this side, there's a whole lot of uh, Confederate uh, battlefield graves. The, the ones without the cross on them are uh, uh, from the uh, southern forces. The ones on the right here with the crosses through them and up here on the top, uh, where there was a very bitter fighting to uh, protect the, uh, and it's for the Union uh, armies to, to hold the uh, uh, top of uh, the summit of Little Round Top. Those are uh, all Union graves. And you can see the geo-registration is uh, almost perfect. Now, uh, Manifold has p published these projects uh, as uh, 
uh, with and without terrain. They're pretty big projects. You can download them and you can actually get the geo-registered uh, uh, Elliott map, which uh, we've, uh, which Mantle has done for you, uh, using 115 control points. So that, that one's considerably more accurate. And uh, you can see that up here, uh, higher up, where uh, this is where Pick's charge occurred. And is that above the seam? It's getting, yeah, the seam is somewhere up in, up in here. And you can see that that's still quite uh, accurately geo-registered as well, because where the roads are in the Elliott map, those, those quite well align with what you can see, the roads and the terrain elevation surface, uh, which was uh, created from uh, high-resolution LIDAR, about, uh, I believe, uh, uh, anywhere from a half a meter to a 70 centimeter LIDAR resolution. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick video. You can see how easy it is to uh, save and load control points, and you can see how uh, we can even take advantage of the fact that you can uh, uh, manipulate the drawings in which control points are saved to uh, do mass changes to multiple, many control points at once. We, we took all the control points that were up here, and we moved it down a notch so we could uh, you know, better work uh, you know, with this uh, geo-registered image uh, where there's uh, now no seam because we, uh, you know, we, we, we uh, moved the upper part down. Thanks for watching. Uh, tell your friends. Uh, you can do all this in the free viewer as well, by the way. So um, have fun. Uh, download viewer. Give it a try. Uh, thanks for watching it. Goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.